We also want to provide an update on another ongoing story, the status of Utica Proctor Athletics and specifically the Raiders football team in the aftermath of the shooting incident that took place this weekend. Acting Superintendent Kathleen Davis held a press conference this morning detailing the changes that will take place in the team's schedule. Most notably, that their contest against Whitesboro originally scheduled for 7 o'clock Friday night at Chiz Fry Field at Whitesboro Middle School has been rescheduled to Saturday, September 16th with kickoff at 9.30 a.m. Along with that change, spectators will be forced to one point of entry where they will be subject to a walk through a metal detector prior to entering the venue. And it was stated that all purses will be subject to an individual check and that no backpacks would be permitted. On Saturday, there will not be a limit on the number of attendees in Whitesboro, which is different than what Proctor's plan is for all home contests in the near future. Effective immediately, there will be only two parents per athlete allowed at each contest. That is throughout the athletics program, not just football. So if you or someone you know is a Proctor student athlete or related to a Proctor student athlete, be aware that it is going to be more difficult to see games in person. Proctor does live stream their games on Huddle, so it is not impossible to see games, just not going to be able to get into the venue itself. That said, you will still